Hi, this is Mike with Designs by M, and today I wanted to show you how I created this window with the two panels on the top and bottom. I've been seeing a lot of cards this season that are showing a window on the front of the card that appears to be peering into a house looking upon an element, and I thought it would be really easy to recreate in Cricut Design Space, so I'm going to show you how I went ahead and did that using some basic shapes, and it's really quick and easy. So let me get into another window and let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do is actually create the actual window itself. So the actual window itself, I am going to make three by four. So I'm gonna go up here and uncheck the lock proportion box and I'm gonna type three and then I'm gonna change this one to four. And so that is the basic dimensions of my window. I will make another shape and I'm gonna make it slightly smaller. Again, removing my lock proportions. I'm gonna make this one a half inch smaller, so 2.5 by 3.5. And I'm just gonna change the color so that you guys can see the difference between the two. I am going to bring this into the middle. I am going to make sure that the align is centered and while they're both still selected, I will click Slice. And that will remove the center of that window. So I can go ahead and delete these two pieces. So now I need to work on the horizontal and the vertical bars of this window. So again, I'm gonna use a square and change that into a rectangle. I think from my playing around with this earlier, the, the um, the width I liked was 0 0.10 and oops, I forgot to take off the lock proportion. So make sure you remove the lock proportions and I'm going to make this uh, just a little bit. I want it to touch the other side. So just kind of pull it along until you have that. Basically when you weld a shape, you want to make sure they're overlapping. So I want to make sure that it's within the other shape not longer otherwise the shape will not be what we want but you want to make sure that it falls within the other shape and this does so I will go ahead and change this again to 0.10 and that's the perfect width for me I want to make sure they're both highlighted and I want to center this one vertically so it's right in the center of that square while they're both highlighted I will click weld I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to take this, uncheck the lock proportions. This time I want to do my width at 0 0.10. Bring that over and stretch it out so it overlaps. Now, as you can see, my width did change, but that's okay. Just double check it before you weld it and change that back to 1 0, 0.10. 0 and select everything, go to a line, and this one we want to line horizontally. So that's right in the center. While everything's still selected, weld. Perfect, my basic window shape. Now we're gonna start on the header. So for the header, we'll start with a square, and I'm gonna leave it the size that it is, and I'm just gonna bring it up into this grid here it doesn't even really have to be perfect but it's in this grid it's it's kind of on the edge here and I will go ahead now and bring in a circle and we're basically gonna cut out this shape of the circle within that square so this is personal preference you can have it any way you like I am just going to move this down a little bit and that looks good to me. Like I said, this is personal preference. And if you mess around with it, you can get the shape that you want. If not, you can undo it and practice until you get what you like. I think that looks good to me. I'm gonna select both of them. I'm gonna go down to the right-hand side and slice it. And this is gonna be the shape of my topper or my header. And that looks good to me. So for the sake of the tutorial and easier for you to see, I will make that a very, very red. And I'm gonna scale that down to, 
I like 0.667. So let's actually 0.681 looks good. So 0.681, and that looks pretty good. And what I want to do is duplicate it, and I want to flip it horizontally. And I want to move it over here. All right, so that's going to be the top. Now, I want to remember the, the height of this. So it was 0 0.681. So I want to make another rectangle. So let's get another square. And we're going to change it. Take off your lock proportions. And I want to make the height point, and I forgot what it was, 0 0.681. So let's change that to 0 0.681. And we want this to overlap, which it is. And we'll move this out of the way. And we're going to highlight them all. And we're going to center them vertically. So now it's one long piece in one long plane. I'm going to weld it so it attaches all, or I'm going to weld it so that it becomes one piece. So weld, one piece, there's my header. That looks great. I love that. All right. So now let's do the same thing on the bottom. So I'm going to grab my square, just like we did on the top. I'm going to move it up into a corner of the grid. And this time I'm going to use the triangle. So I'm going to move my triangle about there. And I want to make sure I select them all, and I want the bottoms to be aligned. So I'm going to align that to the bottom. And while they're both selected, I'm going to click Slice. And there is going to be my shape for my bottom. So let's delete these other pieces. And again, I'm going to make this red so that you guys can see. Red. And I liked the width or the height of this, so this was 0.681. So I'm going to change this to 0.681, and I'm going to leave the proportion so that the whole thing sizes down. 0.681. There we go. And that'll go about there. Again, I'm going to duplicate, and then I'm going to go over here and flip it horizontally, and I'm going to move it to this side. Perfect. Again, I'm going to do what I did with the top. I'm going to get another shape, which is a square. I'm going to make the height of the square 0.681. And if you forgot what it was, just click on your element and you'll see it's 0.681. So 0.681. There we go. Again, I'm going to bring that down so it overlaps. I'm going to move my window out of the way highlight all three of those and we're going to align them vertically so now they're all in one straight line across again without clicking anywhere else because they're all highlighted right now i'm going to click weld and there we go so that can go about there this one can go about there and if we highlight them all and center them that looks perfect. Perfect. I uh, love that window. I think it came out great. But let's make these all white so that they're all uniform. And we'll show you what it looks like all put together. So there is my window. I'm going to group these together just so that I can move them. And now I'm going to show you what I did to do the inside. So I just created another basic shape. And this one, I am going to make a forget-me-not blue. And we're just going to make sure that it goes within those window parameters. So I'm unlocking my proportions. I'm going to just kind of adjust that. Because you can put this on the back once the window is assembled. Right-click it, move to back. So now you have a backing of your window. So now you can put any image you want in there. So for this example, I used a Christmas tree. So we'll click on our Christmas tree and we'll in insert that there. 
and you can put it about there. Let's move it backward. And there's your Christmas tree. You can put any element that you want inside. And I think that looks awesome. So now let me show you one last step of what I do to make sure that everything is sized correctly. Let's group all this together. So it's one element. Now, normally my card shapes are four and a quarter by five and a half. So I always create a mock-up, if you will, of what my card base looks like. So let's change this to four and a quarter by five and a half. Let's just make this a festive red for this, or a very berry. And so that's what my card base size looks like. So let's move this to the forward or to the front. There we go. Move to the front. And I get a visual of what this would look like on my card base. And that looks really good to me. I think that looks perfect. If there was anything, if for some reason I wanted it smaller, then I, at this point I can just go ahead and size that and see what it looks like on my card base. And I think this is perfect. And when you send this to cut, it will automatically put all of your pieces separated onto the mat by color. So you'd have different colors on the different mats and you're ready to go. And so thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how to create just a really simple window with some simple shapes. Like I said, I've been seeing a lot of these cards online lately for this season and thought I could make that. And so I thought, why not show you guys how to do this too? So if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions on things you'd like to see created in Cricut, please leave them in the description box below. I really love reading all of your comments and your suggestions. So until next time, thanks all and have a great day.